Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll explore a fascinating biotech method that helps plant cuttings develop roots much faster. When grown in water, we'll be cultivating three types of aquatic microorganisms that work together to release nutrients from soil, provide oxygen, and produce natural rooting hormones. By using a clear container, a thin layer of moist soil, and a few stones. We can create a small aquatic ecosystem that keeps the cuttings healthy and encourages strong root growth. This is a woody cutting we tested earlier and it worked extremely well. As you can see, this cutting has developed a very dense root mass. You can see that the roots here have started turning yellow. This indicates that they are entering a more mature stage. A slight yellow tint is normal when roots stay in water for a long time. Now, let's try applying this technique to rose cuttings. First, cut the stems to about 15 to 20 centimeters in length. Next, clean the cuttings by removing all old, wilted, or damaged leaves. This not only makes the cutting look neat, but also reduces the risk of mold and root rot. Next, gently strip a thin layer of bark around the base of the cutting. This stimulates the formation of new roots, as the exposed area can absorb water, hormones, and nutrients from the aquatic environment more effectively. Where are you watching this video from? Let me know your thoughts about this new method. I'd love to hear your experiences. I'm so happy to connect and make friends with people from all around the world. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and join our community. Your support really means a lot and helps me continue creating helpful videos for plant lovers around the world. Next, we'll prepare a clean glass cup. Make sure the cup is free from dirt or grease, as this keeps the water clear. We'll take a small amount of soil from under the base of this plant. This area is very moist, full of microorganisms, and especially ideal to collect right after it rains. Use a small spoon or clean hands to gently collect the soil being careful not to damage the roots or the parent plant. This will be the first layer of our three-tiered hydro system. We use soil as the first layer in our hydro system because it is rich in beneficial microorganisms. These microorganisms release nutrients from the soil, provide oxygen, and produce natural hormones creating an ideal environment for new roots to form and grow strong. For the next layer, we'll add small stones. The stones not only help anchor the soil below but also provide extra surfaces for microorganisms to grow more actively. Microorganisms cling to the stones, increasing in number and activity, while supporting the roots in absorbing nutrients and oxygen more efficiently. This is an important step in creating an ideal hydro environment that helps the cuttings root quickly and grow strong. The top layer will be clean water. It's best to use bottled or filtered water as it doesn't contain chlorine or impurities that could harm the microorganisms and the plant roots. Once the three hydro layers, soil, stones, and water are ready, 
We'll place the rose cuttings into the cup. After placing the cuttings into the cup, we'll use a small piece of cotton to cover the mouth of the cup. This helps maintain humidity inside, prevents bacteria or dust from entering, while still allowing air and light to reach the roots for optimal growth. After placing the cuttings in the cup and covering the top with cotton, we need to monitor and care for the cuttings daily. Place the cup in a spot with gentle light, avoiding direct strong sunlight, so the roots and leaves grow evenly without burning. The most important thing now is to be patient. Let the microorganisms, water, and hormones do their job, helping the cuttings develop strong roots day by day. After a few weeks, let's take a look at the results. After some time, you may notice the water in the cup turning a light yellow. This is completely normal and indicates that the hormones, nutrients, and microorganisms are actively working to nourish the cutting. At the same time, the roots of the cutting may start to develop a yellowish tint especially the new roots near the base. This light yellow color is nothing to worry about. It simply shows that metabolic activity is happening and the roots are absorbing nutrients from the water and surrounding microorganisms. Looking at the roots, you can see they are dense, long, and strong. Some new roots are pure white, while those near the base may have a slight yellow tint, all indicating that the roots are effectively absorbing nutrients and hormones from the hydro system. And that's the complete process of propagating cuttings using the hydroponic method. We've seen the cuttings develop dense, strong roots and fresh green shoots on the stems. This method not only helps roots grow quickly and healthily but also creates an ideal environment for the cuttings to thrive, even right at home. Be patient, add clean water when needed, and ensure the cup receives gentle light. You'll get to watch each root and shoot grow day by day, a truly fun and rewarding experience. If this is your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to subscribe to support me. And not miss any videos sharing plant propagation techniques, flower care tips, and many other useful tricks. Thank you for watching and joining me on this journey. See you in the next video.